Peru trust Guerrero's free kick. His impact on the field is undeniable, but Captain Paulo Guerrero's failed drug test means Peru now have a giant headache ahead of next Saturday's World Cup qualifier. He is the star player. I, I'm, I would argue that he, he's peaking now compared to a few years back, and that's probably why he that's probably why he didn't go back to Europe. The captain's star power clear to see with six goals in qualifying and a hand in a decisive seventh against Colombia, but it's losing his leadership that has fans worried. If New Zealand score first, then it might be a problem, but I'm not sure how the team will react because that leader is going to be missing. Peru are desperate to make the World Cup finals for the first time since 1982. Such is the level of scrutiny that even Guerrero's mother has been chased by local media. I know my son and he hasn't done anything wrong. He is calm and the lawyers and the doctor will see him in due course. He'll be fine. It's unclear what substance Guerrero tested positive for. In a statement, Peru football said Guerrero returned an adverse analytical result. They say he plays a very important role on and off the pitch and Peru football and the whole of Peru stand in solidarity with him. He's a model professional. He's a really good captain and he's been working for this. He's been working for this, this whole qualifying campaign, this whole career basically. Guerrero's teammates have also come out in support of their captain, tweeting the caption, strength brother. But one of them will have to take the burden of the captaincy with around five genuine contenders. Farfan, who used to be a winger for Schalke, is now developed more of a number nine role. And he will serve as a good backup, but the only problem is he doesn't have the leadership that Paolo has. And that, that's going to be a problem for the Peruvian national team. If there was ever a chance to pounce for the All-Whites, it's now. Ollie Ritchie, News Hub.